Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, once again, it's another recorder video. Today, I'm going to be teaching how to play the song, It's Raining, on the recorder. You know, the song, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, that song. Anyway, so there's a couple things I want to go over before we get started with the song. First thing, if you're playing recorder karate, today, the belt is green. The green belt is, it's raining. So if you got this down, add a green string or a green yarn to your recorder, and there you got a green belt. But that's only if you're playing recorder karate with me. If you're not, then just move on, as I said before in the last video. So the things we're going to go over right before we get on with this song is that we have a new note, which is the letter E. And as you can see, the fingering. So this little dot on the outside is the, is the note in the back. That means you have to cover it. So if it's black, that means it's you cover the hole. If it's white, it means it's uncovered. So you're gonna have the back hole covered, the first three covered, and then the first two on down below. So you're gonna have the back covered, the first, wait, really good, the first three covered, and then you're gonna take your other hand and you're gonna cover these two. This is what an E looks like. So I'm gonna repeat this again. You have the back covered, the first three holes on the top covered and then you take your other hand and you cover the second holes the last two holes on the recorder this is a hole that we will get to but i'm just saying the last two holes i call this a double hole and a double hole here but the last two holes with the other hand depending on what hand if you're left hand you're just going to hold it with your left hand which i'm not left-handed so it looks weird but if I'm right-handed, my left hand will cover the two holes. I mean, yeah. And if I'm left-handed, my right hand will cover the two holes. But I'm right-handed, so my right fingers will cover this, and then my left fingers will cover this. This is what E looks like. And make sure you're covering all the holes so it sounds like this. And it doesn't sound like this. You don't want it to sound like that. You want to cover the hole so it sounds a nice, smooth sound. The next thing I want to go over is... It has the same time signature, and I'm not going to be doing a bass clef. I'm going to be doing treble clef, because treble clef is honestly the easiest, and it's easy to remember the notes. And in a separate video, I'll teach you how to read notes on the treble clef and read spaces on the treble clef. But for now, we're just doing It's Raining as a song. Not on all of your um, sheet music, it will have this. Depending on what sheet music you print, it might have what each note, like the countings of each note, what each note is worth. So this is the time signature, it's four over four. So four notes in each measure, I believe. And it says how much note each notes are worth right here. So if you get a little confused, but as I said, it depends what type of sheet music you get. And usually on sh the sheet note, the sheet music I have, it says whenever you have a new note and it shows you the fingering and what it looks like on the staff. As you can see, that's what E looks like on the staff. So if I were to find E on the staff, this is an E. See, it's on the first line, just like that. Now another thing is a new rhythm. It also says a new rhythm. I printed out the sheet music. It's called like the beginner sheet music or practice sheet music or like teaching sheet music for teachers but i have it just so i can do these videos and review with you guys so the new rhythm is two eighth notes equals one beat so each single eighth note gets one half a beat so that's a that's a uh, two eighth notes together and then one of these is just a single eighth note well not not this whole thing but just one of these little sticks with the thing so as I said, I'm going to play it first, and then I'm going to go take it slow by slow, slow step by step, and then I'll get to the song with you guys, and we can play it together. Usually on sheet music, it says how many beats it is before. This is Mary Lou Roll Along, and it was two measures introduction, so eight beats. Two me a measure, as I said, is a divided space. So this line divides one measure. That's from first measure, second measure. So it's two measures. So I have to wait one two and then I start playing but I play here I just it's imaginary measures guys so this one it's raining is seven beats introduction so it's one me like maybe one and a half measures depending on how big your measures are so I'm gonna play this first and as I said before in my last video I'm not a professional so I will mess up 
eventually. Let's just ignore if I do. Okay. Okay, let's get started. song I did squeak a tiny a teensy bit around this area right here but as I said before I'm not a professional and if you and if my video doesn't help you out don't worry about commenting it I don't need to know if it didn't help you find something else you could search it's how to play it's raining on the recorder and you can do it with the music and stuff because there is music for it I'm just not doing it with music because it's a little trickier because I'm just teaching you the basics of how to play the song. So, um, let's take it step by step. So we're gonna do the first measure. So the first measure is G, G, E, A. So we're gonna do this, G, G. But it's not, it doesn't go. Wait. It doesn't go like G, G, E, A, like really fast. It has breaks in between. And you'll know whenever it has a long period of break because it will give a little divider here this is the divider or it will have a dash which means you have to hold that note but we'll get to how to recognize different things and i'll do those in different videos um so yeah we're going to try this the best way so it has the g and then you have to hold that first g there you see right there that line so we're gonna do that so g g e a Wait, hold on. Okay, I need to get up so you guys can see my fingerings. Okay. That's the first measure. So the second measure is G E E G. Wait, no, G E E. So, wait. Okay, so. And then the second measure is E E G. So, so the first E you have to hold, so it goes. Wait. Okay. And the next measure is E. Wait. G E A G E. we go so we're just going to play the first top part the very top line there we're going to play that together okay watch my fingering and i'm always going to have if i don't have the hole in the back i will verify and i'll have my thumb like this but if my thumb is not shown then that means i'm covering the hole in the back so just pay attention to how my fingers are planted so that you know what note to play and if you forget just rewind or pause the video We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, the next part is G G E E A. So this one has a little twist to it. So it goes like this. I'm gonna play it first, and then I'll do it. Wait, hold on. Okay, I <laughs> squeaked there. Okay, let's try again. That's how it's supposed to go. So it's gonna go G G. It's gonna go G G E E A. Like that, so. so. You have to transition your fingers really fast for that one. But you'll eventually get there. And the next one is G, G, E, E, A. Again. And the next is G, 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 E, E, A. So it goes G, 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 E, E, A. Okay. And then the last part is G E. Okay, so we're gonna play that last line, then we're gonna play it all together. So we're gonna play that last bottom part. I 
squeaked a little bit there. But that's just what practice is for. You want to practice so that you don't squeak a lot. Whoa, okay. So you want to practice so you don't squeak a lot. And that's a good thing because you don't want to have to squeak in a video if you're teaching professionally how to do a song or just presenting in a talent show. You don't want to be able to have to squeak. I know we're not perfect, but you want to strive and practice so that you don't have to squeak anymore. So that's technically the song we're going to play together. So if you, so we're going to play together. Okay, let's go. Wait. If you're playing recorder karate, let me know if you got the song and you got your green belt. Or if you just want to say you got the song, let me know. And if you need help with anything, let me know in the comment section. And I'll try my best to help you out either in a, in a further video. Sorry about that noise in the background. But I will, if you have a question in the comments, I will help you out in a further video by giving instruction. And I will also give you a shout out if you say you need help. And even if you say you got it, I'll also give you a shout out in my next video. Um, and, or if I don't do it, if I don't do a shout out or help you in the next video, then I will help you in, I know I'll comment back to you on the same comment and you know, I can try to help you with what your problem is. Now, if your recorder is just broken, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, I can try to recommend a recorder site to you to buy recorders, but that's, I mean, I'm not a store, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.